One of the, the main things I would say that keep me grounded, uh, to keeps me grounded during this time, uh, is my own personal history with this struggle, as well as an awareness of a much longer history of the struggle. As Ecclesiastes uh, says from thousands of years ago, there is nothing new under the sun. And uh, I've been involved uh, in this work of struggle for anti-racism uh, for decades. And so having a deep awareness, I think, of uh, how long the timeline is, uh, because I then also recognize that that work is just a minor blip in the much longer history of the struggle. And so realizing that uh, because of uh, the length of time uh, that it takes to ever see justice or the beloved community, we really need to do our work uh, coupled with a much deeper grounding in our spiritual life. A couple of weeks ago, I, I shared a quote from the 14th century uh, from Catherine of Siena, who in the 1370s uh, was doing a lot of work uh, for justice uh, in her time uh, in Italy and facing powers of oppression and evil and confusion. And she talks about the fact that really the one thing we have control over uh, is our spiritual life. And that as we do the struggle, we must address this deep uh, spiritual kind of malformation or dis-ease that we uh, all are a part of. Uh, and so that activity, uh, coupled with the outward work and activity of justice, uh, are the sorts of things that uh, really do build resilience. Uh, that and also connection with uh, current living communities. Uh, I'm very intentional about cultivating a network of uh, other uh, long distance uh, social justice warriors and uh, that community is uh, tremendously helpful and powerful uh, for me and in my life and work. And so these are the kinds of things that, that make us uh, humble and make us realize that uh, ultimately uh, God is the one that is working these things through uh, with uh, our help, uh, but that we are just a, a tiny speck in a very, very long and vast uh, history of work for good in the world. And so I pray and encourage you uh, to pray, uh, to go deeply into your spiritual life uh, and to build that kind of resilience and support uh, that will see you on this long journey. God bless, peace be with you.